Hey guys, welcome to MMA 101. I'm your host, Dan the Wolfman, with the trainer of the year, Master Rafael Cordero. How's it going, sir? Everything is great. You have to be here. One more time. We're at Gokar's Highest Island Academy, beautiful place, my home base training here in North Hollywood. And today was the Paradise Warrior Retreat. You can go to the website, paradisewarriorretreat.com. I think Cub Swanson taught today, you taught today, um, Benny the Jet, I'm not sure who else. Yes, Kathy yes. Long, I see, is here. Yeah, tomorrow Fabrice Verdun and uh, Anthony Patti. So just good guys. If you're in the area, come stop by, it's going to be a great, a great seminar. And that's quite a, quite a lineup of guys. Um, Today, what kind of stuff did you have the students working on? We, we, today we did a lot, a lot of different works, a lot of combination. When you do seminar, you never know the level. Or here in general, or they can go to the Kings MMA in Huntington Beach. Was it just one, like a second year anniversary? Or? Third, third, third year anniversary. Third anniversary. We just, we just turned third anniversary. I'm very happy, hard work with me, with all my team. And, uh, I'm very glad to, to move to the United States, open the doors for me. And, uh, I'm very happy now we start new life, new gym, new fighters, but with old philosophy to hard train and uh, always run against the belt. Now you work with all the great pros during the day. I've come to training there, which is awesome. Um, but I think people sometimes misunderstand, they get worried, they get intimidated. Guys, you can go to a school, you, beginners, sure. women, children, you got uh, gi jiu-jitsu classes, you got everything there, kickboxing, Muay Thai. Kids program, we have a lot of new champs, new generation coming up. I have beginners there, I have a pro, I have a different, a different schedule, so sometimes a guy have a good level, can train Muay Thai, advanced MMA. Sometimes guys is uh, amateur or pro fighter, can train 11 a.m. Monday to Friday, so if you, if you are Kid, if you have a child, bring your child to play with me. I teach him and me and, and my time to shoot. So we have a lot of schedules there for all kinds of levels. Everyone, whole family and come out. Everybody. I have a, a lot of parents there, so it's, it's a blessed place. Good. Let's talk about the pros. I mean, the biggest one I think right now we, we got to talk about Fabricio. We're doing. We got JDS came three next weekend, next Saturday. Um, the what is it? Nineteenth uh, UFC pay per view. Is Fabricio waiting to hear who wins from that and if he might get title shot or what's going on with Fabricio? Oh, for sure, the winner is going to fight against Fabricio, he trained hard for them. For sure Fabricio is going to be the next UFC champ, 100%. He trained hard for them, he trained hard for years. And now it's just, just one more step for them, he really talks about that, all teams really talks about that. We're really confident, we, we will always work with champions, I, I teach a lot of champions in the world for a long, long time and I can feel when the Belts coming. I feel the belts coming with Fabrizio. It's gonna be a my great, my great moment in my career. When he beat Feather, one of the greatest. But I think the now is the, the moment to get a belt. Not just with him, but they have Jake Allenberg, so Rafael dos Anjos, Liotto. I have a good guys there. Yeah. Do you have a prediction? Who do you think is gonna win between Kane and JD? Yes. Do you think Kane? You think Kane's gonna win? No, my opinion, Kane. He, he, He's a complete fighter, he's amazing wrestler, good stand-up, so he's got, he's got his black belt to so, so he's a complete fighter, I think he has more weapon than those Angels. That'd be interesting Dos if, if, if yeah, Fabricio fights yeah. Kane, I mean he has the reach on Kane, he's got good jab now, very good knees, everything you've worked with him on, uh, and if Kane takes him to the ground, it's a dangerous place to play with Fabricio. Uh, if JDS happens to win, it'll be a big you know, rematch, things will be a lot different, I think. Uh, uh, really, Fabricio Verdum didn't have very good stand-up back then. It was before, I don't know if he was training with you. Know, he was smacking guys in the face. Yeah. yeah, he wasn't really good stand-up no, yet. No. And no one knew who JDS was. JDS came out of nowhere. No one knew that JDS was going to be this killer with boxing. Yeah, but uh, I will Junior, everybody knows this game. It's a boxing game. When, Fabri when they beat Fabricio, it's a different moment. It's Fabricio's career. Now Fabricio worked hard after six years, almost seven years. The fight happened. Fabricio worked hard and uh, he deserved a rematch. And he prepared for both because we trained for years for for fight. Is he a, is he a Muay Thai black belt now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fabricio black belt, Muay Thai Jiu Jitsu. My Thai system, Brazilian system, his black belt, my Thai Brazilian system. So I'm very happy and glad to be to Fabrice work with us. He's uh, one of my best friends. We work hard for a long, long time and I think we deserve a chance to fight for the belt. Uh, another big one coming up, since you've, I think you've worked with both guys, what about Mark Munoz and Lyoto Machida? 
Are you working with Machida for this? Mark has been here, I think, in the past. Uh, what do you think about this fight? And is Lyota the one you're working with and he's coming down 185? I work with, with Mark for a long, long time. And uh, today I work with Lyota. I worked with Mark maybe for three years. Now I work with Lyota for two years, almost two years. And uh, I think it's going to be it's going to be a great match. Two amazing fighters. Two amazing person. All right. I have a good relationship with you. I love Mark. First time I'm gonna be in another another side of the, the, the octagon. Because Are you gonna be cornering? Or no? I, maybe I wanna corner the auto for this okay. fight, for this fight, because the auto training with us. So and you think the Gracies are splitting up? I think, yeah, think Ryan and... He, he hit on and one him. side and then on the other side. <laughs> but the guys are professional. The guys need put, uh, the guys need to feed it their child. And, uh, this is the sport, this is UFC 1, and uh, we are here to work. Man. Okay, anything you want to say maybe in Portuguese to the Brazilian fans out there? Fique ligado, vai ter coisas grandes pela frente. Obrigado por tudo que vocês têm feito com nós. Vocês vêm depositado para nós aí. Estou muito feliz de estar morando aqui nos Estados Unidos, estar representando esse esporte que a gente criou, que os brasileiros criaram. E eu estou muito feliz de viver aqui nos Estados Unidos. Estou muito feliz de compartilhar minha knowledge agora com os americanos. E da mesma maneira, eu vou ganhar muitos campeões no passado e eu vou ganhar muitos campeões no futuro. Obrigado, obrigado. KingsMMA.com, GoCore.com, ParadiseWarriorRetreat.com. E por favor, se inscreva no meu YouTube page, isso me faz sentir feliz. Obrigado. Obrigado. Ligou para ele, baby? Ele tá me ligando aqui, tá me lavando.